All right, this is going to be quick. This kind of sort of kind of picks up where we left off last with uh, Yate. Uh, I installed a screen copy, and this is a, a freshly installed uh, Dragon OS Focal R11. I just was calling it kind of a preview for right now as I work out any bugs that are in it, and then you know, of course, I'll get it up uh, online, uh, SourceForge and whatnot, like I normally do. So this is just installed. And I've got sitting here the blade, uh, this time a Blade RF XA9, uh, courtesy of uh, the Blade RF guys. And I've got it plugged in, and we're going to take a look in the user source. I still got to clean this up a little bit. Uh, let's see, the Yate RC2 folder. And so this should be pretty much all you have to do. Uh, let me think. So Blade RF L, in this case, I'll do the hosted XA9 load that and this is kind of required just for this Yate and so let me think here we're gonna we're gonna do something else so we need to start up the Apache to start we'll go down open up localhost slash NIPC uh, I'm going to do this time, so a couple things, let's see, let's take a look, BTS configuration, I'll just stick it on 900, come down here, pick the 900 frequency, save that, and I still got to get around to GPRS and some of these other things here, come back over to subscribers, I think this is where I messed up last time, for the US country code 1, and then this SMSC, still need to do more some research on that but I'll just put that in there for now and let me think we'll come back and this time instead of putting the MZs in I'll just uh, so both have a sim card in it uh, they're old and uh, um, I don't even know where I got them from but uh, let's see so I know they start with 310 I'll save that all right one other thing we'll take a look at uh, fixing the um, well not fixing but enabling the uh, David IVR interface it's under let me think user local Yate and if we edit the uh, oh wow okay it was JavaScript couldn't remember so we'll open up javascript.conf come down you see it's not on by default turn routing and there's an example one in here of welcome.js this will allow the um, David IVR thing to work so let's see let's get another screen open here plugged in all right I'm going to put airplane mode on for a second and I've got two phones sitting here all right so now let's start here I think we got the FPGA loaded okay turn airplane mode off all right see it's connecting take a look at the other phone both connected. Wait a second, you'll see the SMS that'll get sent out. So there's one. And I got the other one. So I got two numbers. All right, so let's take a look. Let's call 
call David at 32843. 32843. There we go. Press 1 for an echo test. Press 2 for the conference room. Ooh, and I think I lost the. Sorry about that. Let's see. Three, two. Test one, two, three. side here. Let's see. Add the volume down. And let's try back the other way. Need a better USB cable here. Okay, and back this way. One. All right, there we go. Okay, and the last thing here Let's take a look at the um, Eliza This is the uh, chat bot Okay, I see that And I got a response back Let's see. Interesting. So it's pretty cool. Um, all right. Well, there we go. So um, a little more clarity, I guess, on how to uh, get it configured uh, out of the box. Um, you know, obviously, just messing with the IVR. And the chatbot um, looks like there's a, a ton of features and configuration files and um, a lot of things that uh, you can do with Yates, kind of on you. And uh, yeah, hopefully um, next video we'll take a look at doing uh, turning the Blade RF uh, XA9 into a wireless access point. So I've already kind of tested it, just wanted to get it all um, working good and then share it with everybody else. All right, thank you.